So we are watching a COVID subvariant fuel cases across the country. Dr. Amy Ducro with Kaiser Permanente is joining us to talk more about BA5. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Happy to be with you. Thank you. So I wanted to start off with BA5 and how infectious it is. What do we know at this point? Well, as we saw with the Omicron variant, that all of these subvariants of Omicron are more readily transmissible. So it's more likely that if you're exposed, you will become infected. And what we are seeing is actually what's unique about the BA5 variant or subvariant of Omicron is that uh, it has a capacity to avoid our immune responses that we have from either previous infection or from vaccine. So on that note, what does that mean? Let's say somebody's just had COVID. I mean, how soon could they be reinfected and how sick would they get? Well, people don't know exactly how long immunity would last, either from natural infection or from uh, or how long your protection lasts after a vaccine. But in general, we think that you, know, you have pretty solid immunity after either one of those things, uh, a booster or a recent infection for about a month. And then as each month that goes on after that, you're more susceptible. What we are seeing, though, is that Thankfully, uh, while the infections are quite high right now, and I bet a lot of your listeners can attest to this as we're hearing about friends and family members who hadn't had infection before and are now getting infected, uh, what we are seeing is that um, although the cases are up, the hospitalizations don't seem to be peaking. And so it is causing a milder illness, which is we have a lot to be thankful for about that. And so while we, it's still something would be best to avoid if possible because of other complications that can occur. Thankfully, at this time, uh, the infections seem to be milder. Um, now, certainly vaccine protects against that to a large degree and reduces the severity of illness and the risk of hospitalization and death. All right. Well, that is very good to hear. I am curious what you're seeing when people are doing at home tests for this. At what point in their sickness is the test actually coming back positive versus a false negative? Every once in a while, we hear about someone who tested negative initially and then had a retest and they were positive. But generally speaking, people are thought to be contagious for the one to three days prior to their symptoms beginning. And then and there's, their antigen test may be positive pretty early, their home test may be positive pretty early in that course of infection. So likely that, um, you know, if you suspect you have COVID and that initial test is negative, I would repeat it a day later. Um, and probably it's gonna become positive pretty early in the course of illness. All right. Well, I think that's really good advice, especially like you were saying. I can't tell you how many times I've heard I dodged it for two and a half years and oh my gosh, I got COVID right now. Um, just my last question for you is you yourself. I mean, what are you seeing with your, your patient numbers and people coming in with this right now? We are seeing a lot of people contact us with questions about what should I do in light of the fact that there are treatments available and now that I'm positive. The treatments are uh, available throughout our communities and we have them at Kaiser Permanente. Um, they, they are most beneficial for the older person and the person who has uh, risk factors for severe illness. So certainly, you know, this kind of a thing can be really overwhelming and, and scary and we're all tired of it. Um, but remembering that there are basic things we can do to protect ourselves from illness, hand washing, uh, you know, taking care not to touch our eyes, nose or mouth without uh, clean hands, masking when you're in close contact with people in indoor spaces and being vaccinated and up to date with vaccines. All right. Well, thank you so much for that perspective. I hope it's useful for families at home. I know it was for me. I appreciate your time. Happy. Thanks you. Bye bye. All right. Well,